I have a question for you. How do you measure your team's efficiency today? If you're an engineering manager out there and you're wanting to improve your team's efficiency, you want to know when things are about to go wrong, when things are in the process of going wrong, not once they've already happened. That is the problem that we're here to talk about today and to talk about how we were going to solve it. The main reason why I started getting into it so heavily is when I went to any of our daily sprint reviews, having this gave me an advantage in the fact that I now knew what to talk to them about, what things do they need to look at to try to keep us on target. I didn't have to wait for them to tell me I could be ahead of them. And now I'm getting them to be there too. I was just going to give a little background, if you don't mind, Torsten. I was doing a one-on-one -on -one session with him to show him some of the new features that we had released within this kind of uh, work in progress world. And I think you said something, Torsten, along the lines of, I, I try to not get into the weeds, but with work in progress, I kind of know which are the weeds that I need to ask questions about. Well, exactly. I don't have to ask all the questions because um, they can now ask those questions themselves, but I can ask the more pertinent questions around those questions. How are you identifying and addressing the weeds before Sleuth? We won't. But that's part of why I'm enjoying it so much, and the team is starting to really get into it as well, is because it was something that we were trying to make changes based off of the changes that we had discovered from the door metrics, but we weren't being able to see if we were improving until the next sprint was over, that it allows us to now try to be much more tactical in our work rather than being tactical every two weeks, we can be tactical daily. I think you talk about how instead of every two weeks, you're doing it every day. I mean, it almost sounds like that was the whole idea of, of agile, continuous deployment, these type of concepts. Take something that before you were doing every so often and now doing every day and that you're doing a lot smaller, you're doing more small adjustments and you're getting a better result in the end. Correct. And that's the, that was the goal when we started doing the dorm metrics. They were all excited about the dorm metrics because they could make changes. But then they, do, they were like, well, I don't know if the change I made is making any difference until the next sprint is over. So how do we get it more often? Right. That's where this tool jumped in and went, yes, this is what they wanted. And then I could do my part, which is try to make sure that we take away things that are causing the team bottlenecks so that the team is more efficient. And the whole point is to make the team more efficient. So what I'm hearing from you is that you're running ahead of the curve uh, the DevOps team, why did efficiency become top of mind for you? Yeah, I, I think the teams decided that. It wasn't just me. It was the team was trying to be more efficient. Thor metrics were great in being able to come up with ideas on things that we could do. But being on that two-week cycle meant sometimes when they saw the next one, they didn't know why they made the change in the first place because it was two weeks ago that everyone was having these contact switches instead of keeping it top of mind figuring it out, getting it done. There's a lot of cognitive load that was getting added for no big value. Would you say that visibility is opening doors to meaningful change? Well, exactly. I think that's that's the goal that we're always trying to do is if we can give the developers information that they can use to positively change their efficiency, they love that because that means they get more time to do other things rather than trying to trying to understand why we're making changes after the fact, why not be in front of it? And this tool, I'm hoping, and it's moving that way, continues us down the path of being more efficient so that we can put better value in front of the customer. Well, I have to say, I have so enjoyed this conversation. Torsten, as I said, you are a gold mine of wisdom. So thank you for all that. Thank you for having me.